so there's been lots of talk about the digital literacies divide, and oftentimes it's framed as um, access to tools. So who has access to broadband, who has access to internet, who has access to the actual devices themselves. Um, and that's really important, but when we take a digital literacies approach that we have to integrate or intersect, what are the intersections between those um, gaps for students' own literacies um, that they're exhibiting, whether it's through uh, school-based performance measures, through national exams, or just in their own ability to access print and use print. Um, so there's been a number of studies that have looked at uh, students' ability to engage in like online reading comprehension and things like that, and what we're finding is there are definite gaps in students who are good comprehenders with print text and how that relates to their uh, comprehension with online text as well. Um, but we wanted to also focus on not just uh, necessarily those in-school performances, um, but what, what, are the, what are the number of gaps that could potentially exist within digital practice. So whether that's gaps in teachers' professional development who are teaching those students, whether it is the actual access to the internet or the technologies, whether it's their own reading comprehension scores and, and, and competencies and skills that they possess um, as well. And so I, we were trying to take this um, broader view that if there is this gap, then how are we, as the paid title of the paper, how is it access, equity, and then their ability to empower oneself.